The problem I created was to tell the children that I needed to bring some tea to my sick mother. And I had two jars and I wanted to know which one would hold the most for her. So they had some time to test the jars out at the water table. How are we going to find out which container holds the most? I brought the children together on the rug so we could do a demonstration with the jars. They could share their ideas about which one they thought held more and then we could come to an agreement. Pour the water into those containers. Oh, pour the water into the containers? Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah. 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 I think yes? So. Yeah. Do you think so? Okay, well you know what, since most children thought that this container held the most, let's fill this one up first, okay? So let's see. Now, I'm going to pour very carefully, but a little may spill, let's see, okay. This is empty, but is this full? No. 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 Hmm. No. We need more water. The oh, other one. Oh, more water? One. The other Use one. Use some of this? Okay. Yeah. I don't see any spill. I'm careful. I'm very careful. But if it spills, we have a little tray there. It'll be okay. Uh, Ooh. Uh, wow. It took almost two of these pictures to fill this container up. Blue. But now what do we need to do? Because we still don't know. We don't know our solution. The Jasmine thinks I can pour this water into this container. We're going to pour it in. I don't see any spill. I got to see a little fill. And more and more and more. You can't fall. Uh, 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 it's gonna be spilled. No, it's no, no. Yes. Oh, oh it's spilled, no. I told you. Uh-oh. Stop. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You made a lot. Stop. 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 What happened here? It spilled. It spilled. It overflowed, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm right because that it's was spilled. Water the so, water just go all the way up there. Okay. The water filled this container all the way up? Uh -huh. Yeah. And then it overflowed. The language of capacity is difficult for any child, but especially with English language learners, they don't have that vocabulary yet. So it's important to be using gestures along with the words. Yi Hong was saying this container is big this way. Oh. So Yi Hong thinks this one's taller and Joseph thinks this one's wider. Some of you still think this holds more. Some of you think this holds more. Hmm. Raise your hand if you think this is the one that holds more. Let me see. Oh, I have a few hands up. Okay, and who still thinks this one holds more? Me. Just a few. Well, you know what? What can we do to find out? What can we do again? We could pour the one to that one, then it, it won't spill. So you think I should pour the water in here into here? Yeah. Oh, and you're saying it won't spill over. My oh, job. that's a good thought. So this is Nathan's idea. We're going to pour it. Now a little okay. bit's going to spill because I have to get it even. There uh -oh. we go. It's okay, so we're again. just a little. No, let's see. This is Nathan's idea. Pour this container into the you wide container. The thing is spilled. Nope. Uh oh. No. Oh. Look, look, what, Karen? You put no, it inside. Here. I put the water inside here? Oh, this still needs more water to fill up, right? Because all the rest to fill on the tray. Oh. You are right. The rest of the water is here at the bottom of the tray. So which one holds more? That one. That one. This one or this one? That one. This one. It still needs more, right? In exploring capacity with young children, it gets them to think more about more than one dimension 
of an object. And it's also something that they use in their everyday life. I think this one is the one I'm going to bring to my mom today, and she will be so happy.